Okay, so for today's video, I'm actually going to look at the XLF. I have been asked about this, and you know, I went and I looked, and I saw that I didn't really have anything at this last low. My support actually came in lower, but then I looked a little bit further into this and said, well, I know how to define risk for you on this one. And it just comes from simply taking the prior high to low swing, projecting 100% of that from the more recent high, and that gave us this 2672 area that we held above. And let's see, um, I'm not sure there's anything more than that. Yeah, because we went a little bit through that 786 retracement. But we already hit that zone and already started rallying from there. So do you really want to buy it here and risk underneath there? Or is there a way that you can even have less risk on this trade? And there is, and it's by going down to a lower time frame chart. Because after all, if we end up holding here, and you look at the bigger picture, the upside potential in this is going to be pretty dang healthy. So let's now take it down to an even lower time frame chart, and I'll give you uh, more specific uh, areas to look at. We're going to look at the 15 minute chart in XLF, and all I really do is run another setup on the lower time frame chart to define the risk since the original risk was down here. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take these prior swings and project them from the most recent high. Okay, and here's another swing, high to low, projected from the high, and that hit almost perfectly. Then we can run the retracements of these swings. So I've got, uh, let's see, there's a 382 that overlaps the symmetry. And then if I take the smaller swing, and this low to this high, then there's also another 618 that overlaps that. So now, instead of risking underneath this low, you can actually look at this new bullish pattern on the 15 minute time frame and say, well, you know, I'm going to be a buyer as long as we continue to hold above this area. But if it breaks underneath that, I'm going to forget about it or ditch it. Okay, some of you might want to give it more room, and then you place the stop underneath this prior swing low. But as far as um, definition of risk, if you did want to look at this one on the buy side, right now I would define it underneath this um, 2722 to 2732 area. I hope that makes some sense.